Okay, as promised, I'm going to debut the new hot tent technology today. So here you see the Tigris One Rock Fortress tent, same hot tent as I had last year. I've added on to this what I call the Nut Hut. It's actually the Gazelle Portable Gazebo. And I've been using this through the fall for some outdoor cooking and hanging out, kind of late summer, keeping the bugs out. I put these two together. It's not a perfect seal, but I think it's gonna work. So you can see in the front of the tent here, you can see the chimney. Now, as we go inside, see, this is a pretty good sized teepee, but it's not huge, okay? Um, you can get the cot in here and everything as I did last winter. But I think this is gonna be a lot more fun. I set up a little shelf here with my firewood and some supplies. Got my stove here with a fireproof mat. Got the jackery here with a fan. When it is cold, I can get the fan blowing the warm air into here. And this is the inside of the gazebo and it's very spacious. I have solid walls for all sides. Don't need them yet. It's like 61 degrees in here right now. Um, I have this awesome Teton XL cot and sleeping pad. It advertises as being more comfortable than your bed at home, and it, it really probably is. Got this nice BioLite lantern here. We're mostly solar powered. I've got my solar, tiny solar suitcase here, and then I can run the overhead light off. And I have some USB cafe lights as well. And then I've got this neat little Goal Zero crush light that does different rainbow colors nice folding chair plenty of room and you can see how this goes together now obviously it's not a perfect seal and i won't be able to wall in these but i think that'll be okay uh, with getting enough heat going in here and getting the walls on this and then the sun on top um, i've had pretty good luck camping and using this gazelle as a support structure for uh, winter camping. So I'm going to try and cook a little meal today. If you can believe it, I've never actually had one of these freeze-dried meals. So I'm going to get the hot tent fired up, boil some water, try making that. Also have some good tea and going to get Lenka here from the backyard and uh, try this out. I got my Amazon Kindle. You should always have a good book while you're camping and if you got a Kindle, well, you've got several. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Gonna do a little hot tent run on a warm day. We had a tent cat. Hey, Winter. Dove door closed, chimney is drawing nice. Lenka, hey, where are you going? So one of the reasons I thought I should cook this is I bought it a year or so ago and I thought I'd need to use it up. But looks like it's good for another almost 30 years. This is great too. If you forget to remove the oxygen absorbing pack before adding water, don't worry. Still safe to eat. That should be interesting. Hey, I got 12 ounces of water heating up. Got Winter the farm cat walking around. Lenka has found herself a cozy spot over here on the far side of the bed. I think I'm gonna read a little bit while the water boils. It's a nice day to be outside and kinda, I don't know if it's camping, tuning up for camping anyways. I guess it's camping. We're in a tent, it's great. I think we got a puma outside the tent right now. Or just Spooky the house cat. Had me fooled. Looks a little bit like a puma. Look at the big fat tail. Yeah, he's rolling in something stinky. Good kitty. All right. We stirred it. We waited and we stirred again. Mountain House Adventure Meals Chili Mac with Beef. Let's see how it is. Well, doesn't look or smell terrible. For a uh, food that can be eaten for another 50 years. Um, indications so far are pretty good. 
It's a little soupier than I expected. I guess it's more like chili than mac, but let's uh, let's give it a try. Interesting chew. Kind of like beef jerky. It's wet. Flavor's not bad. Seasoning's not terrible. Macaroni, not like totally cooked all the way through, but not raw. Spooky the cat is really interested in it. I eat garbage. Yes, you do. You're a good boy. I'd say this is not terrible. I've got some packets of hot sauce I picked up at the gas station uh, just for things like this. I'll eat this with some hot sauce. Not bad. Don't remember what I paid, but in a pinch, I think this would do. Nice and light, packs down small. Um, I have the rest of the water boiling right now, or getting ready to. I'm going to have some Carrico Gold Kenyan tea. So I made a presentation to the Supreme Court of Kenya the other day, and they brought us some gifts, some Kenyan coffee, which is incredible. Kenyan tea, which is amazing. You can actually get this on Amazon as well. And then uh, they gave me a traditional shawl called a shuka that is used by the Maasai. And uh, they told me it would keep lions away. So it hasn't kept uh, Spooky, the, the home mountain lion away, but I have been 100% lion proof, no lion attacks since I got that. What an incredible honor to present to them and the gifts are awesome too. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this and you know, as it gets later here in the day, sun starts to go down got some more wood for the hot tent just gonna enjoy a nice afternoon here in the backyard a little backyard camping doesn't get better than that got Lenka the elk hound over here she seems to really appreciate the new setup and a lot more room she gets pretty um nervous in small spaces other than our teardrop camper which she loves so i think this is nice she's got room to walk around and kind of choose her spots so thanks for tuning in guys uh this is sort of a dry run for the nut hut 2.0 set up here with a hot tent and everything and uh, once we get a cold day we'll really get to see how this works all right